Welcome to Basketball U. If you're new to Basketball U, make sure you slam dunk that subscribe button. And just to make sure you don't miss a thing, make sure you tap that notification bell right after you hit that subscribe button. What it do, what it do, Basketball U. This is the Role Player Series. Great to have you back for more info on some of the greats. Today, we will be talking about a player of the year in college, a five-time All-Star, and also a member of the Dream Team. So if you already know that outcome, he's a gold medalist as well. Chris Mullen. A sharpshooter from downtown was born in Brooklyn, New York, grew up as a fan of the New York Knicks. So naturally, he adopted the rough, gritty, and tough mentality in which New Yorkers are known for when talking about most players from New York. Mullen was recruited by the Hall of Fame coach Lou Carnesecca to play for St. John's University in nearby Queens. After signing, Mullen averaged 16.6 points per game in his freshman year, also setting the school freshman record for points scored. In his subsequent three years for the Red Man, now known as the Red Storm, he was named Big East Player of the Year three times, named to the All-America team three times, played for the gold medal winning 1984 Olympic team, and received the 1985 Wooden Award and US BWA College Player of the Year. In the 1985 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors selected Mullen in the first round with the seventh pick. He then quickly established himself as a versatile player in the league, inspiring perhaps, unfortunately, based in large part on skin color, inevitable comparisons to Larry Bird, then in the prime of his career. Although Mullen missed all of rookie training camp in six regular season games before coming to terms with the Warriors, on the day he signed, he played 24 minutes and scored the winning basket with 15 seconds remaining. In Mullen's first three seasons with the Warriors, he was primarily a spot-up shooting guard playing in the backcourt alongside Eric Sleepy Floyd. In his second season, 1986 to 1987, the Warriors advanced to the Western Conference Semifinals under George Carl, where they lost to the eventual NBA champion, Los Angeles Lakers. The next season, Don Nelson became the Warriors coach and had plans to move Mullen to small forward. During his third season in the NBA, Mullen admitted to Nelson that he had a problem. After missing several practices, Mullen was suspended, then entered a rehabilitation program. Mullen spent 48 days during the season in a treatment facility and returned a changed man. He missed 22 games but completed the season averaging 20.2 points, 4.8 assists, and 3.4 rebounds and was on the path to stardom. In the 1988-89 season, the player the Warriors thought they were getting in the 1985 draft finally emerged as Mullen rededicated himself to the game. Mullen then averaged a career best 26.5 points, 5th in the league, 5.9 rebounds, and 5.1 assists. He was named to the All-NBA second team. He became the third player in Warriors history, joining Will Chamberlain and Rick Barry to total 2,000 points, 400 rebounds, and 400 assists in a season. He also became the fourth player in the team's 2,000 point club, joining Chamberlain, Barry, and Purvis Short. 
Mullen teamed with Mitch Richmond to form the highest scoring duo in the NBA. With a combined average of 48.6 points per game, they were also the youngest teammates to lead the league in scoring since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Bob Dandridge with the Milwaukee Bucks in 1971-72. to For five consecutive seasons, from 1988 until 1993, Mullen scored an average of 25 or more points and five rebounds. Additionally, the Warriors have made five straight playoff appearances. Mullen, Mitch Richmond, and 1989 first-round draftee Tim Hardaway formed the trio Run TMC. The initials of the players' first names and a play on the name of the popular rap group Run DMC. These three became the focal stars of this playoff run. As a five-time All-Star, Mullen also won an Olympic gold twice as a member of the 1984 amateur team and for the 1992 dream team. During the 1992 Summer Olympics, Mullen, who started two games, averaged 12.9 points per game, shot 61.9 percentage from the field and 53.8 percentage from the three-point line. In 1993, Don Nelson traded for Chris Webber on NBA Draft Day, hoping to make the Warriors stronger in the front court. Mullen's body began breaking down and he began to miss significant numbers of games. The Warriors had a very successful first season with Webber, but he and Nelson began to bicker over his use as a player. This led Nelson to resign and subsequent coaches saw Mullen as injury prone and began to center the team around Latrell Sprewell. Mullen, who had become a bona fide fitness freak after his rehab stint, led the league in minutes played, 3,346 for the second straight season. He also made his fourth straight all-star appearance. The team had replaced Richmond with Lithuanian star Sarunas Barcelonis and improved to 55 wins and 27 losses. Despite losing a disappointing first round series to the Seattle Supersonics, the Warriors seemed in good shape. Mullen was then traded after the 1996-1997 season to the Indiana Pacers for a second year center Eric Dampier and NBA journeyman Dwayne Farrell. In his first season with Indiana, coached by Larry Bird, Mullen started all 82 games, averaging 11.3 points per game and helped the Pacers to the Eastern Conference Finals, where they were eliminated by the Chicago Bulls in seven games. He had a career high in three-point shots made, which was 107, and led the NBA in free throw percentage as well with .939. Larry Bird began to phase Chris Mullen out and give more time to Jalen Rose at small forward during his second season with the team. As a member of the Indiana Pacers, Mullen, who was primarily a bench player at this time, appeared in three games of the 2000 NBA Finals against the Los Angeles Lakers and scored four points total. After that season, Mullen was waived by the Pacers. He then signed with the Warriors for the 2000-2001 season and it was his last season as a player. Chris Mullen was one of the most underrated players during his time, and he brought so much value to the different franchises he played for. He took a similar path that some other role players have done. He decided to take a head coaching job at his alma mater, St. John's University. Coach Mullen's record at St. John's was 59 wins and 73 losses where he led the Red Storm to one NCAA tournament appearance. Not a winning record, but Chris Mullen, like he did the league and the Big Apple, he left a lasting impression on his old school. Great career for another incredible role player. This is Basketball U. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow all of our social medias, 
right there in the description to keep yourself up to date as this channel will have a lot of basketball a lot of players and a lot of training and more information on how to play the game of basketball remember someone's always working are you you you